Okay guys, so this is Melly and I am back and this is gonna be this is not really shot my stash This is kind of gonna be what's in my um basket weekly basket or weekly drawers So I got these plastic containers right here from Amazon. They were 20 20 21 or something Um, I kind of like these yes I bought them separate and yes I know you can probably find them at Marshalls for cheap but my Marshalls is not close and my TJ Maxx doesn't sell nothing like this ever I've looked trust me okay so up here is my tart lipsticks I store them in this little um handy dandy heart thing because I uh it's just easier and there's not many of them so um lately I've been going for my bunny lipstick in Texas Toast I love this color although it's slightly patchy on me and then I have a bunch of lipsticks right here that I've been going back and forth. Uh, Kat Von D, Tarte, um, Urban Decay samples. So these are like little mini samples that I got and, and um, products. And then my Bite. Um, is this Bite? No, this is Fresh. I like the Bite one better. The Bite lip, uh, lip thing where you exfoliate your lips. And then this is a Becca highlighter and... Opal. So, this right here, guys, is all my mascaras I've been going back and forth in, along with my um, eye uh, lid primers, my MAC pr um, paint clearly, and I brought this shadow out and used it a few times. It's Hope. It's a part of the um, Danny Coffee Break with Danny collection. I've been going back and forth between uh, a few of them are sample sizes that I wanted to see if I still love. This is actually a, a eyebrow product, sorry. And I have some eyebrow products in here like the L'Oreal one. I want to finish that up, you guys. That's this one because that's too dark on me. This is a mascara and a primer. This is my favorite eyelash primer ever. It's the Tarte Opening Act Primer. Uh, and then I have Painterly, and then I have a ColourPop shadow from the Coffee Break with Danny collection. And then this is new. This is Sephora um, eyelid primer because I needed this uh, tacky base. And I wanted to try the Sephora brand to see if I might like it because I find hidden gems in their stuff all the time. It's a mixture of things. Um, these two things are under eye concealer. Uh, they go underneath concealer. They're brighteners. Then my eyebrow products this is my favorite lately, the Goof uh, Pencil by Benefit. Then I have some super samples of Poodle um, by Benefit and the book some bronzer. And then this is Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown, which is too dark for me. So I just use the gray side in this. And this is a pixie sample that I got from one of my Ipsy bags a long time ago. And I use this every so often depending on how I feel. That's Gwen Stefani's Urban Decay one. That's um, Wet n Wild. Um, some of these are like samples that I've had. This is a sample of the um, uh, Kapow Brow that uh, Benefit just came out with, which I like that. It's just a gel, pretty much. Um, and then this is uh, Chella, which I got this in my Ipsy bag a long time ago. I kind of want to have some of these finished by the end of the year because I've had them forever. Uh, this is the new Tarte one, shape, the Shape Tape Concealer. Um, I wish I had actually just gotten the Too Faced one instead of this. Because I still think I'm going to get the Too Faced one. This one, I like it, but um, not for summer. I think this is better in the winter. And also, it's a little too thick. Uh, to be used underneath the eyes for the summertime. I like I generally like lightweight concealers in the summertime like NYX uh, This is the old Kat Von D one. She's coming out with new ones in July. I think this is um, Age Rewind. I everybody started talking about this again And I wanted to try it and see if I liked it or if I hated it because I didn't remember her. Um, I'm not sure if I like this. I think it's the color. I think I just have to find the right color. I've been trying to really try this again to see what my thoughts are on on that. I have the Tarte Splush Palette. I really like this for summertime. I think this is a really nice palette for summer. So I like the colors in there. They're like a pink and corally color. Last Edit Palette from Last Holiday. 
Uh, I love every single powder in here, you guys. The blushes, the bronzers, the highlight powders up on top. The fuse light is in here. I'm using that right now while I'm waiting on my full size to come in. So I'm using that sample because that's my holy grail under eye powder. So for bronzer, which I got last summer, and I want to use it again this summer, but I still haven't used it. That's why it's sitting in here. Um, this is Holy Grail Epic um, Mally Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. I love this for uh, matting my face. That just sucks. That's like wax. Guys, it feels like wax, but when you apply it to your face, it feels like powder, and it sucks up the oil like no tomorrow. This has become a fave recently, and this is actually a sample that I got from Tarte, and this is the Tarte Smooth Operator. I love, love this, but it does flash back in uh, lights. And then, um, I got a bigger size of the, no. This is Kat Von D's Thunderstruck. It was damaged when I got it. Uh, I tried to set it a couple of times. It didn't work, so I don't think I added enough alcohol, but I love this thing for my inner corners and for highlight. Here's my other drawer. I've been loving this. Oh my god, this has been my favorite for this past month. Um, this is one of my favorite. I want more of these. These are the ambient show lighting powders incandescent. This is a very super natural, subtle, holy grail highlight. Like this does highlight and subtle and every way that you could possibly want that nobody else has achieved yet. I really love this. This is one of my um, NARS um, dual intensity blushes. Love, love this set. This was from the Stephen Klein. I think this. I'm not sure. I think this was from the Stephen Klein collection. Um, this is Frenzy. Uh, this has become my favorite. This is like an orange shimmery peach. And this is like a gold highlight. It's so amazing. And I don't even use these wet. I love them as they are. Born, um, blush and cheeky, cheeky bugger. I love this blush. I don't use it enough. It's a very nice pinky coral. I love this. I think this is luminous. Yeah. Luminous bronze light. Yeah, I think this is the light one. Uh, then I have the other one too. This is such a pretty glowy bronzy highlight. I just love this. Then I have um, my ColourPop pool side, which I've been using lately. Guys, I'm back. So I didn't really set out the pandas, but I've been using it more because I forgot about it. And I remember it used to be a holy grail powder. This is the e.l.f. Uh, cool um tone correcting powder and now they have a warm one apparently according to emily noel they now have a warm one i still like the cool one i use this for setting underneath my eyes and this is actually a very for six bucks three bucks or something this is actually a very nice thin creamy powder it's 65 if i believe but it works on pretty much every fair to medium skin tone out there this is the bronze and um no the film star uh bronze and glow face sculpt this is the light one this is the first one she came out with and it's now classified as the light one because she now has a darker one for darker complexion women uh this okay guys so and then i have some urban decay that's solstice that's what the heck is this lounge which is pretty similar except lounge has more pigmentation to it and then i have a single maui waui over here which i've been liking on its own these are palettes that either are new to my collection or i have tried before and just want to use again because i haven't used them in a while uh this is actually a bronzer and that should be in that chop section this is um tantric by mark jacobs i really am absolutely in love with Marc Jacobs. This is Topanga by Fiona Styles, of course, and I love her brand. I want more. Um, this is two different um, Jaclyn Hill Becca palettes. I actually wanted to do a try on with these where I use both of them, one on each eye to see if the, they apply differently because I got them from two different places. This is Hamlet by NARS, and this is one of my favorite duos. This is Physician's Formula Matte um, 
quads uh classic nudes that everybody and their mama talks about uh, it's a lot of people have said that it compares to the urban decay basic palettes which i have naked too i had naked one but i gave it to my cousin and i never looked back never regretted it and never have wanted it back in my collection so naked two is by far more my favorite than naked than the one Okay, um, the Rock Pro 3, which I'm going to have a review on this sucker soon because I am not a happy camper with this. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, guys, I, I, 1 and 2 are so much better. That's all I got to say right now. Chocolate Too Faced Bonbon Chocolate Palette. That's what that looks like. I've been using my chocolate palettes again because, let's face it, they just smell good. Beauty Killer with, by Jeffree Star. I used this once. I want to use it some more. I haven't just, I just really haven't felt up to trying it out. Here's this Tarte one. This reminds me actually of the Tarte lip. And just uh, with two more eyeshadows thrown in. Uh, that's pretty much what this palette reminds me of. Although it seems more durable than the Tarte Light Shadow sh uh, palette. But. It reminds me a lot of the tartlet, you guys. And there's the tartlet. So there's those two side by side. That's the, well, this is the tartlet tease, I should say, actually, not the tartlet. But it reminds me a lot of the tartlet, in my opinion. But I, I love tart shadows, so of course I, it's no biggie to me. They're actually one of my favorite brands. Um. Too Faced Chocolate Palette, the original. This is the one, guys, before they had the names inside. This is the original, original bad boy, and I still have it. It still smells so good, you guys. Uh, my kids have the bad habit of holding those uh, chocolate palettes out. Wads, I bought these out to try them out. Um, this is The Rock from two summers ago, I think. Um, I bought this out to use this because I don't use those enough. Kevin Klein, the dual intensity eyeshadows. This is like one of my favorite palettes I have. I, I love the front of it along with the eyeshadows. Siren by Marc Jacobs. This is um, not a brand new palette. This actually came out about two summers ago, but he has them out again on his website, Marc Jacob Beauty. I love love this palette you guys it's one of my favorites um here's the bad thing though is that some of these have a problem with staying closed sometimes this is another one of my favorites this is like a neutral palette that he came out with he did a very soft neutral this is 212 the dreamer i have a lot more of these these are just the ones i pulled out to use um, where is it? I saw uh Sam Sherman do a review on hers, and I that was the first, which was the um Starlet, I believe, or the Lolita, and that was the first palette I ever bought of his, and I never stopped buying them. You guys, they're that good. Uh, this is which one is this? This is the Lolita. It's. <laughs> This is also a very uh, semi-neutral uh, palette, but the Dreamer is, uh, you can't really see that in this light, but the Dreamer is so much better. The Dreamer is such a better palette. Um, and then this one is, I think, the Lover, which is the, this is the Naked 3 version of his palettes. And, um... You guys ever seen the Naked 3? This pretty much reminds me of the Naked 3, and I love it's a very soft, subtle pink tone, though. This is two different palettes in here. This is the Alice palette from Urban Decay from this year, and this is the Anniversary palette from Urban Decay, and that's a sample shadow from Urban Decay called Fireball. But I keep them in this palette because I wanted to. Um, I keep them in here because I wanted to make more room and those palettes were very chunky. Uh, this is from the Urban Decay Anniversary Palette, which turned into a jewelry box. And also, I got into a habit of depotting palettes. 
This is Cap on D's holiday palette from last year. I deprotted that sucker. And then this is the semi chocolate. So now, over the course of the week, I will be using these palettes. Um, I'm not sure which one because lately I've just been going through them, trying to change them up every day. So I use more of my palettes. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have in my drawers. And that drawer hasn't really changed much. I've added a few things. I've taken a few things out over the month. But uh, it really, really has not changed. I changed, I took, uh, I will tell you one palette I took out this month that I couldn't stop using. And I had to put it away to make myself stop using it was the Bunny. It's Bunny Time Graveyard Girls palette. And I kept using that nonstop ever since I bought it. Um, but those are just my items. And that's my weekly drawer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 